We often talk about the importance of making friends, but nobody's talking about the importance of having enemies. Because if you're being authentic to yourself and you're standing up for something, and you're not trying to fit into some kind of mold, people are gonna dislike you and that is a-okay. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new, I'm Amanda. Welcome to the channel where we are all about shattering the mental health stigma. If you haven't already, please make sure you make sweet, sweet love to that subscribe button. Give the bell a few kisses. It's the best way to support our mission and you don't wanna miss any of this content designed to help you with your mental health or help you help someone else. Today, I'm going to be reacting to God Allow Me by Voice of Basiprot? Basiprot? I'm not sure how to say it. I'm sure someone is gonna jump in and help me out, but that should be a pretty clear indication that I have no pre-exposure to this artist, band, whatever the case may be. So something new, which is always exciting. This wasn't a request from a Patreon, just something I was a bit curious about. I saw it requested several times in my comment sections across my videos and piqued my curiosity. So here we are doing God Allow Me by Voice of Fast Prompt. when things break my own buried preconceptions, when something can cause me to stop and appreciate someone who's so boldly breaking stereotypes. So this is already a treat. When someone says metal, I'm not gonna lie, my first default thought is some angry white guys, but this is empowered female Muslims and I'm loving it so much and I loved her sparkly uh, hijab and outfit that was really adorable. I just feel so much positive energy coming from them. I love that. A lot of very culturally relevant questions that are being posed here and things that we all should be considering. This is clearly about Islamophobia and the effect it has on culture by saying kill the music but also the effect it has on the individual is she's expressing feeling really defeated. have become toxic why today idealizations are using our minds i feel like i'm falling down in the deep hole of hatred i'm right there with you lady sometimes it does feel like you're falling into just this pit of despair and hatred. I actually love all their fashion. I really love bold, uh, wild fashion and looks like that. So even that caught my attention and really just has me quite giddy. 
I can say from experience that if you're called vile names long enough, eventually you start to accept it and internalize it. And you start to adapt to these accusations. And you start becoming what they claim if you don't find a way to shield yourself from this toxicity and to become strong in your own uh, in your own self-worth and in your own personality. You have to be very strong in your conviction for that. But you resent these people as much as they resent or hate you after a while because you just don't understand why they're flinging so much hatred and toxicity at you. But that only perpetuates a cycle of hate and that's not going to help us move forward at all. These women don't want to be judged for the genre of music they play or the religion they adhere to or things like that. They want to be seen and appreciated for their actions and their intentions and the messages that they're spreading, the really important messages that they're spreading. I'm now the You know, I know that in America we've had a huge problem with a lot of people looking at Muslims as terrorists and this can have very violent consequences because between 2014 and 2015 there was a 67 percent increase in violence against Muslims and that was the highest we've ever had except for the immediate uh, time right after 9-11, the immediate aftermath right after 9-11. Likewise, judgments within religious communities really stifles a great deal of self-expression and freedom and creativity to be who we are. I noticed that there were the distorted faces and there were the people being wrapped in chains in the background uh, from the singer. And the distorted faces, I think, is just a way of personifying that we stop looking, as I said, at people as individuals and we start grouping them all together for the crimes of a certain segment of that population. So we don't even see faces anymore. We just see them for this one part of their identity, which is really silly when you stop to think about it, especially when that part isn't something negative by default. And I think that the chains are obviously where we're feeling stuck and trapped by these definitions that people have put on us for whatever reason. You feel trapped and you feel like it's very heavy and it's very hard to break free from that because it becomes such a culturally accepted mindset that you start feeling like the enemy and you start feeling like you're the bad guy and you know better deep inside but it's hard to it's hard to hold true sometimes when the entire world seems to be against you or seems to be afraid of you and there's nothing to be afraid of i love these badass women that are spreading an important message. I, I'm so pleasantly surprised right now. I know I had several kind of heavy reactions and this was just a lighter side of metal, but still very uh, powerful, still very much the girl power that I needed. 
<laughs> so thank you very much guys for suggesting this to me and giving me that boost today i definitely always appreciate those and i just feel like i'm growing and growing and growing with all of this uh, new music that i'm being introduced to so Make sure, as always, to be sharing your stories, your experiences here in the comments below. We do not judge. We have no phobias around here, except maybe spiders. I do I do have a little bit of arachnophobia, but unless you are a spider, you are absolutely free here on the channel to express anything that you feel like you need to express or share any part of your mental health journey that you are ready to share. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it. There are so many people who just need to hear these messages, and I love you you guys so 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 much Mwah.